Hello and welcome to TL Physics and today I am going to talk about quasars. Now quasars were originally thought to be stars. They were objects from extraordinarily far away that were really, really, really bright. And so we thought originally that these um, things were actually stars. They were emitting very, very high amount of radio waves. So we really went, okay, that is a really significant amount of EM radiation. That must be coming from a star. Went to, hence why they're called quasars. So a pulsar, something very similar, is a star that looks like it's pulsating. So that's where the idea of quasar comes from. But on closer inspection, we actually discovered a quasar is not a quasar at all. A quasar is actually something to do with black holes. So this here is um, my drawing, my artistic representation of a black hole. So a black hole is where, the, of course, the object, the star, has contracted so much that it's met its Schwarzschild radius. And so this, the, the actual mass is somewhere down here. But what I've drawn here is this lip of the Schwarzschild radius here. So from the centre of the mass to here, that is the Schwarzschild radius. So this part of the object here is what we call the event horizon. And as you can imagine, that has got a ridiculously strong gravitational pull. That object here, remember everything is attracted to each other in space due to gravity, that there is lots of debris here. And this debris, especially around this event horizon, is being pulled together at very, very, very strong forces. This means that when they collide with each other, they release a lot of energy. So this particularly happens around what we call supermassive black holes, which the only place they really could have appeared is on the edges of the universe, because something so big, okay, must have been a black hole that's been feeding for a very long time, and has existed for a very long time too. So what's happened is this debris field that we've got here is that around this event horizon, so I'll just draw this in red here, around this event horizon, you have got particles being flung at each other at ridiculously high velocities. When they collide, they release energy. And this energy has been interpreted as quasars. Okay, so this around this uh, black hole event horizon, things collide with each other and they emit, they, when they collide, they emit loads of energy. And this energy, because it's able to escape, because on this side of the event horizon, you can escape because you are moving faster, you are moving at the speed of light. If you were the other side of the event horizon, you would need to be moving faster than the speed of light to actually leave. So this side of the event horizon, because it's an EM radiation, it can actually leave. We were getting these bright, bright spots in space. And that is what a quasar is. It's literally the debris field around a black hole that because the gravitational field is so strong, the particles are colliding with each other and emitting a lot of energy. This energy was interpreted as a star emitting energy. But when we looked at it closely, I actually discovered that it wasn't a star at all because it made no sense. The spectra was not there for the star. There was no hydrogen. We couldn't see these Balmer lines. We eventually did find some Balmer lines in there, but didn't indicate a star at all. So that there is the basics of what a quasar is. We have been discovering them and looking into the into the back in time at the beginnings of our universe with them. But a lot about them are still very much unknown. So that there is quite us. Awesome.